Listen, about the lighthouse lady. Could you reconsider? You really should let her go. We can't. Look, I'm sorry, but you'll just have to trust me. This is for her own good. Death stalks this woman, Postman. Would you truly deny her final request? She's... wait, she's dying? Yeah. So if you are doing it for her sake, then you should just grant her final request. But we can't! <sighs> Look, I... I have things to attend to. Come back tomorrow. Look, I... I have things to attend to. Come back tomorrow. The postman is hiding a secret of his own. I suggest we go back. I have a feeling we might discover something. I can't believe she's going to die. I suppose there's no need for this now. Listen, Mr. Postman. Hey! What are you doing here? I would ask the same of you. Uh, work! Just... just some work! Wait, are you writing a letter? Well, I don't see how that's any of your business. Well then, allow me to ask about something that is very much our business. Why are the old lady's letters, and only her letters, postmarked from this very office? What? Well, that's because... The other deliveries bore postmarks from locales far and wide. What are you getting at, Vice? A woman was not receiving letters from a lover in some far-flung land. They were penned by the hand of someone in this very town. Well, crap. Go to the back room. There's something there you should see. There's another room over there. Clear these packages out of the way. Whatever it is, he could have put it in a more convenient spot. It must be something he wanted to keep hidden at all costs. Rather sizable bundle. They were all written by the woman in the lighthouse. And you never thought to deliver them? I couldn't. Not anymore. Here, look at this. It's a death notice. For her true love, I presume. Then who sent the woman all those letters? I did. What manner of cruel hoax is this? I didn't mean for it to be cruel. None of us did. The whole town agreed to help. So you're all in on it? Those letters kept her going. They gave her hope. She believed her love to be alive in a foreign land. So we just kept the lie going. It started with my father some 50 years ago. Are you gonna keep lying to her? Yes. The truth can only cause her pain. Are you sure she's better off this way? It's not a very happy truth now, is it? What about her final request? I don't know. 
How should I know? I'm just a damn postman. I don't know what to do anymore. What's the best thing to do? What's the right thing? Here, I have a new letter. Take it. It says that her love is coming, but that the journey will be long. You wish us to deliver another letter filled with lies? You uncovered our town's deepest secret like it was nothing. I don't think that's an accident. Look, I've told you what I think. Deliver the letter or tell her the truth. It's up to you. This is tough. What do we do, Vice? What do we do? Calm yourself, lad. There's no need to get in a froth over a problem of someone else's making. It's hard to believe the entire town was lying to her. I wager their intentions were good. Elsewise, they would not have carried on with the ruse for 50 years. It also explains why they tasked her with keeping the lighthouse running, so news of her love's demise would not reach her. Maybe that really was the kind thing to do? Further news for my love? There was a letter for you. Oh, he's written me a letter. Ah, wonderful, wonderful. Perhaps we should. Leave you alone with your letter. Oh, life is so wonderful. And could you please thank that nice postman when you see him? Sure. Everything is going to be all right. Everything is... Legs still bothering me, so I don't think I can get back to my rounds for a bit.
have we got today? Which job should I give you first? I got a letter from the seafront postman. Apparently he has a message for you. How mysterious. I wrote down the client's location on your map, so head over there to... The woman from the lighthouse has passed. Ah. We found her in bed. She looked... happy. So, I guess you didn't tell her, huh? I didn't. Thank you. I think you did right. Hard to believe she's gone. I always figured the old girl would outlive me. I hope our plan was right. I hope it made her happy in the end. Did we do the right thing? Was she happy? I do not know. None can say what true happiness is. Humans, and perhaps even magical tones, are far more uncertain creatures than we know. Yeah, I guess. we got today. Which job should I give you first? 
Some guy in Seafront wants to become a big-time trader. Whatever works, I guess. He's waiting by the port over there. I wrote down the client's location on your map, so head over there to get the details. I bought everything I wanted, I'd be broke in a minute. Must show restraint. I still don't have enough inventory. What's the problem? Well, I'm trying to get into the trading business, so I'm stocking up on the essentials. You mean like selling local products to faraway lands? Uh, not products so much as raw materials. With every nation running out of the basics, I figure it's a great way to make a killing. But right now, I don't have a source for materials, and it's driving me crazy. If I could make just one transaction, I could get this thing off the ground. But I don't have anything to offer. It's a real, what you call it, conundrum. I wouldn't mind getting some materials for you to sell. Seriously? What do you need? It's a pretty big list, so you might want to write it down in that floating notebook of yours. Okay, let's see. I need ten bundles of wool. Five lumps of natural rubber, and ten goat hides. Oof, that's probably gonna take a while. Is that okay? Take your time. That'll give me a chance to set up shop and fill out forms and the like. So, think you can get it all?
for some... Thanks for your... Welcome. Hope you... We've got precious materials from exotic land. See you later. We got the latest Hope to see you again. Care for some in Thanks for your Waiting for that watermelon.
Ma'am, I have something for you. Oh, what a nice young man. Now I can finally walk around without pain. Don't work yourself too hard, ma'am. I won't, Sonny. And here, let me give you something for all your help. Don't spend it all in one place now. Shades! The hell are you doing here? We thought you could use a hand. <sighs> yes, and I do believe a heartfelt thank you is in order, hmm? Yeah, that's not happening. What could have caused these shades to appear in such force? I don't know, but they're all over the village, too. Then we need to go help. We might be able to find a sealed verse while we're at it.
This is hardly the time to be writing letters. choice. Rot in hell, you fucking asshole! Uh, did you just say what I think you said? I'll tear out your goddamn eyes and piss in the sockets! Good sweet lord! I have never- hey. I'll take care of the big one. You worry about the rest. <laughs> Get out, half-breed. You brought me safe here. I don't want you. Not the friendliest town in the world, is it? You disgust me. You disgust us all. Don't you dare call yourself human. Get out! Get out of our village! What is wrong, wrong with you people? She's trying to help you. Don't defend me. saying such horrible things about you. Whatever. It's all true anyway. What is that thing it's holding? It appears to be spewing them from within. Well, whatever it is, we need to take it out first. Running already. Kaine, I'll drive him to you. Get up there and wait for him. All right, watch yourself. Thank <laughs> you. 
Don't let it get away. I won't. As soon Kaine and I will have it surrounded. <laughs> should join her. Right. It can escape us no longer! It's great to have you on our side, Kaine. Oh my god, shut up. Look, just try and keep up, okay? I'm doing my best. What's wrong? Oh, it gladdens my heart to finally see you again. Grandma? Come, Kaine. Come to your grandma's side. You've been lonely for so, so long. So much pain, so much despair. Why go on living anymore? Is that it? Hmm? Are you finished yet? Don't speak to your grandma like... You're going to stop talking now. And then I'm going to slowly walk over to you, cram my hand inside your goddamn bitch-ass chest, and pull out your fucking heart! <laughs> Grandmother would never say that. She'd never tell me to give up on life. Never! I've spent my entire life searching for a way to avenge her death. She gave me the strength to deal with this goddamn mutant body. Do you know how long I've been like this? 
how much I loathe myself. I think she intends to perish where she lies. And in truth, perhaps death is the greatest comfort we can offer her. That's not your decision. Hmm. You don't get to decide who lives and who dies. She's alive. She has meaning and worth. And we're going to save her. Everyone has something to live for. Even Kaine. Even Yona. Perhaps you should save your pretty words for her, instead of wasting them on me. Give up. Don't give up! You're stronger than that! Don't you Don't dare, dare give up now! This woman is more trouble than she's worth. That's it. Come on! Again. There's that dream again. Every time I wake up from it filled with pain and sadness. With this feeling like I've somehow forgotten something extremely important. When I look at my broken sword, it reminds me of my battle with the Shadow Lord. Somehow it's been three whole years since I saved Yona.
That was supposed to be it. Goal achieved. Game over. So then... Why was I crying? Three years have passed. And I still haven't found the answer to that question. Not exactly the restful sleep I was hoping for. Damn it. Guess I'll go kill some shit. Emil. Come here, you annoying little bastards. I'll crush every last one of you. Feels like there's a lot of shades around lately. Checking on Yona's village. Die, damn you! Die! Hey, get back! It's dangerous here! <laughs> I think that's my line, buddy. For the save. Shades have been on the rise around here lately. Now go home. Oh, believe me, I want to. Thing is, I've got a job to take care of. See, we haven't been able to get in touch with anyone in the Forest of Myth. Somebody's gotta go over there and make sure they're all right. And that someone is you? 
You will make it ten feet before some shade mauls your ass. I'll go. What? Really? Oh, man. Thanks a million. Oh, wait. You should take these. I'll wait for you around here. And thanks again. Hey, anybody home?